Hello people, Buffet King here and due to a recommendation of a subscriber I'm taking the 10 to 15 car minutes off strip to take a deep look inside the Makino Sushi and Seafood Buffet. So we are here for the regular midweek lunch for 1959. I think it's a very fair price, but let me explain you why. So my friend, this one is all about sushi. They have hundreds of high quality rolls and they are not only fresh made, they are fresh made in front of your eyes. And what I can tell you is that I'm not the biggest sushi eater in the world, but what I tasted here was far beyond everything you'll get on a Vegas strip buffet. Classic chicken teriyaki, so tender, shrimp tempura, crunchy in the outside, soft in the middle. Japanese fried chicken, interesting and I mean interesting in a good way. Deep fried calamari was so good and of course my beloved Japanese style pork belly. One really crispy thing to mention was this salmon skin, really crispy, but which I would have liked more is the steak of the seas, the salmon fillet. I was curious about this made to order noodle station and I decided for the classic I took the udon noodles which turned out to be hmm not the best strategy but later more. Don't get me wrong this spicy hot noodles were just fantastic but the big downside here is that the portion is just too big. They are filling up too much and you won't have much space left in the stomach after you finish this it's too much carb too much liquid and rule number one at a buffet don't eat too much carb so dessert time and i really expected nothing from a dessert section at a seafood buffet in the end i was more than impressed with all these little cakes and mousses spear your fruits spear your marshmallows and dip them into the chocolate fountain Glad to see one here. I think it was the first overall I see in a Las Vegas buffet. Again, I was impressed by the assortment of little cakes, fruit tarts, and this Oreo mousse deserved my attention. And I had some warm feelings about this little cake topped with the blackberry. Always a classic, my pleasure, a Spanish flan. All the desserts you've seen so far were nice and lovely, no doubt, but there was nothing like this white chocolate candies filled with your favorite fruit. My girlfriend called them the love of her life. There was a shocking moment and then I realized, at least she was honestly. And what can I tell you, she was right, this one were worse leaving me. I mean this was far beyond the Vegas typical cheap shit cake, this was real quality chocolate and with the combination of the fruit inside it was just amazing. My girlfriend alone had 10 to 12 pieces and at the end we both agreed that this was the best dessert piece we ever had so far in a Las Vegas buffet. So my friends, this was a well worth off strip experience and as you could imagine, I will be back in the future here. If you are searching for some criticism, I would say it's not about what they offer, it's about what is missing here. I mean, you won't find crab legs, huge shrimps or Jonah crabs if you're looking for something like this seafood, this won't be your place. But what do you think about the Makino Sushi? Are you getting hungry?